What I have here is a piece of dacite. Uh, it's a volcanic rock from uh, British Columbia. And I'm going to demonstrate the uh, very basic uh, means of uh, removing uh, flakes uh, and blades. There, I have knocked off a uh, flake and uh, just a simple blow with a hammer stone. The uh, uh, platform is uh, just a simple platform, unprepared. It's a flat surface uh, on the uh, on the uh, chunk of rock. The uh, platform is uh, the uh, place on the uh, resulting flake uh, that uh, it has a bulb, uh, and it uh, uh, may be a simple. Sometimes if we use a baton, it's a prepared platform. In this case, it's just a simple uh, unprepared platform. And uh, this is the uh, usually the, uh, well, it's the ventral surface where it attaches onto the core, like uh, this. And the uh, dorsal surface may be uh, the original uh, cortex or else has a uh, flake scar from uh, previous uh, flakes. And I'll remove some of the sharp uh, edge here when you remove a, um, a flake or a blade, it uh, leaves a negative bulb of percussion on the core. And uh, it's a sort of basin shaped and it has a, f a very sharp uh, overhang uh, uh, on the striking platform. So I removed some of that. Um, I'll try and uh, remove more flakes from here. Oops. Oops. <laughs> more than I wanted. With a hammer stone, you have less control over the um, uh, end product than you do with a more, uh, if you use an antler billet. There. And I have another flake. And you can see the uh, platform is quite big, uh, striking platform. Uh, with a simple uh, means like this, I can retouch this uh, flake into uh, a cutting tool or scraping tool.